Naughty Dog knows how to do it. Insomniac knows how to do it. And now Sucker Punch looks to join the fold. Stay with me. Creating new IPs every single generation for your platform is a must. Not only creating them, but finding success with them, targeting your audience, having them adopt the characters, the worlds, and the games that you create. And if you're lucky, winning countless awards for that content. And Sony's been doing that for a long time. We look at Miles Morales. Spider-Man came out and was a smash hit. They took the characters in that world the gamers adopted and made Miles Morales. Uncharted 4, huge, huge game. Very successful, great characters. Secondary characters became primary characters in Lost Legacy. And now Sucker Punch is looking to do the same with the hit new IP, Ghost of Tsushima. The news is that late 2021, Ghost of Ikishima will release exclusively for the PlayStation 5 and possibly the PlayStation 4 as the success of the cross-generation title Spider-Man Miles Morales has shown. Gamers on both platforms are willing to play these games, willing to go on these journeys, willing to support these characters. And that is exceptional. I love that. And I love the idea of creating hit new AAA IPs every generation and then using characters within those worlds and giving them their own game, expanding upon the world and guaranteeing the time for the developer to make the sequel to the original title. So for instance, Spider-Man came out exceptionally well, well over 15 million copies sold. Then Miles Morales hits, sells almost the same amount, still selling every time a PlayStation 5 hardware drop happens. The PlayStation 5 sells out right along with the PlayStation hardware, Miles Morales, and giving that developer time to work on the sequel to the original Spider-Man game looks like Sucker Punch is looking to follow that formula with Ghost of Tsushima. Release Ghost of Tsushima, take your time, create something fantastic, create something that looks better than most games this generation so far, and then use characters that have been supported in the original game, give them their own title while you work on the sequel to the original game. This is a way to expand upon your portfolio to give gamers more to do in the worlds that you've created and make those IPs bigger and better than ever. I can't wait for this late 2021, Ghost of Ikishima. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about this approach. It's definitely a winning strategy when you look at the success of Lost Odyssey and Miles Morales. Lately, Naughty Dog's only done Last of Us and Last of Us 2. Maybe we'll get a spinoff with some characters in between Last of Us 2 and whatever else their new project is yet to be announced. Think about liking and subscribing, sharing this video out on your favorite social media platform of choice. I'd appreciate that. I think this is a smart approach. You have to gamble. You have to create new IPs every generation. And those IPs have to stick around. They have to resonate with your audience because... If you go from one generation to the next and nothing that you created can carry forward with an audience, then you haven't done your job in that generation. But Sony has done that consistently. They've done it just the last generation. Aloy from Horizon, brand new IP, brand new character. Gamers are chomping at the bit for the new game. Ghost of Tsushima, new IP, new characters. Gamers can't wait for the new game, the new IP. Countless others we can talk about here from Insomniac, from Naughty Dog, from Sucker Punch. Tons of great IPs coming in addition to the ones that have already been created. Again, I'm ecstatic about this news about first party, AAA, single player games getting their due, characters being supported, worlds being supported, and then taking those characters, like for instance in Lost Legacy. When I played Uncharted 4, I loved Chloe Frazier. A great, great character from Uncharted 2 all the way through Uncharted 3 and Uncharted 4. And I couldn't wait to see her in her own game and it didn't disappoint. That wouldn't be made available. That wouldn't be something Sony would be able to do if they didn't take the time to create a brand new IP that resonated with the audience and gamers, console gamers around the world in Uncharted. 
And that's what you need to do. That's what Sony's doing with these games. And again, can't wait for Ghost of Ikishima and then the eventual Ghost of Tsushima 2. Thanks for watching.